everybody swaminath here today we are going to see moving average price versus standard price in sap and no. this is many of the interviews they are asking what is the difference between map moving average price map versus standard price std price okay. i'm just directly getting to the subject i'm going to show you in sap system itself okay. moving average price is this is a definition it's recalculated after after every goods moment inventory moment but whereas standard price remains the same of actual purchase or manufacturing cost and they may ask you what is the significance in sap system what it happens what's the operation behind it runs okay let's go to the sap system directly i'm going to create a material let's go and create a material mm0 transaction code mm01 let me create a material and what i'm going to create is i'm going to create moving average price map moving average price gold per gram and the standard price diamond stone okay. in the material master this moving average price i'm not going to give any any amount but whereas for diamond i'm going to give for standard price i'm going to give thousand okay let me create a material now first let me take this gold per gram gold per gram per gram okay. each Gold per gram. ND. This is moving average price. V. V. I'm not going to give any price here. I'm not going to give any price here. See it? No price. I'm going to give zero price. Let me enter it and save it. How I don't check? Just enter it. Save. Save. Six double zero triple zero two one nine. Six double zero triple zero six double zero triple zero two one nine. This my next step. I'm going to create diamond. This time it is going to be standard diamond. Let me take it from here. Diamond story. Diamond stone each. This is also each of the ND, no MRP. How much is the price? I'm going to save it as standard. Yes. Price control standard. Standard price. And standard price, thousand rupees. I'm going to give thousand. Thousand. Let me enter thousand here. Standard price thousand, thousand, and it is standard price seven, seven, zero one seven, seven. Now let me enter this. This is the diamond, and this is gold. This is B. And yes, standard price. This is V, moving average price. V, and standard price. Okay, now let's go and re enter purchase order slash and ME 21 yen. Transaction code ME 21 yen. Let me enter the supplier here. This is my supplier. Let me enter the material. First, I'm going to enter moving average price. Moving average price. Moving average price. Quantity, one quantity. My plant is YN01. My net price is, what is this? Thousand. 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 And let me enter storage location also here. Let me save this. Save this. Just save them. This is my purchase order. I take this purchase order. Thousand rupees. Thousand. I have entered PO. This is PO. PO. Next step. Go to goods result. Go to slash MIG. Goods result. Goods result. 
enter the purchase order number here. Item OK and post. Item OK and post. Moving average price. This is moving average. Let me go to MM01 and check. Go to MM03. MM03 and let me check. Moving average price for this. 19. This is my material for 19. Let me go to accounting. It will be the same one. It will be keep on updating. It will be keep on updating. See, 1000. Now, I'm going to do another purchase order. Let me do another, create another purchase order. Let's go to slash and ME 21 yen. Let me create another purchase order. Second purchase order. And let me check. It. Let's enter the 219, moving average is 219, quantity, one quantity, YN0, storage location, YN0, and let me change the price here, want to change the price here, this time it's going to be, how much is the price I have entered, 1100, here, 1100, double one, Double zero and let me save this. Save this. This is my purchase order. One. Five one six four slash and MIG. Let me do. Me go and check MM two. Me go six four six four six four and click onto this non order item. Item OK and post. I go to post. Okay. Now go to MM0103 and let me check it. Go to slash and MM03. Let me check it. How much it is? It will be, it gets updated moving average price. Every time and it will show the average price. See here, average price. And inventory value is 2,000. First time I bought it for 1,000. And next time I bought it for 1,100. I purchased it for 1,000 and 1,000. So the, so the sum is 2,100. That is what is showing. And the average is 1,050. We have purchased it. Now, let's go to slash and MIGO. And let me display material document and check it. Display material document and check it. Let me display the material document. And let me check it. Document info. FI document. Let's check the FI document. Material ledger. Let's check the material ledger. See, a thousand hundred. Every time it gets changed. Come back. Let's check accounting document as well. Accounting document. See, here. every time it gets changed. Gets changed. Now, let me create a purchase order for standard price and check the Slash it, yeah, me 21 here. Yeah. I'm going to do it for standard price. Let me enter supplier, purchase organization. Let me enter the material. This time it is going to be, I'm going to buy a purchase it for, for diamond, diamond stone. Standard price, it is standard price. Let's enter the standard price. I have given standard price 1000. In material master. Now I'm going to change it to I'm going to change it to 2000. 2000 and 2100. 2000. And next PO, I'm going to do it for 2100. 2000. 2000. Go to storage location, enter storage location, quantity one and save it. Faulty. Let's check it where it is. 2000. Now 7. 7. This standard. No more uh, moving average price. It is a standard one. Let me take this and let me do goods. Go to 
slash and MI zero equal to MI zero. Let's do roots reserve. A controlling document will also be created. Let's check that. Go to item OK and post. 2000. And post. Now, displayed. Displayed. Press enter. Display document. Document info. FI document. Go to FI document. See here, controlling document gets created. Double A. For standard, this question they may ask you a controlling document gets created from that. Yes. Double link onto this accounting document. Price variance, see it? Price variance 1000 rupees being stored in this GL account in PRD. Transaction PRD. See here? 1000 is standard price. This is what. 1000 is standard price. Already I have given 1000 standard price. Okay. Now, 2000 I have given in, in purchase order and it has been 2000. And the price variance 1000 rupees gets stored in this TLR. Now, let's go to MM03 and let's check it. MM03. Go to slash it, MM03 and let me check it. Two zero. Double two zero. Standard price never gets affected in in material. Law. This question they may ask you in the interview. Standard price never gets updated. Let be same thousand rupees, thousand USD. Yeah, see, even if I do, let me do another PO and GR, you'll get more. Slash and yummy twenty one yen. I'm going to do another TR. And let me check that. It will not get affected. YN01, quantity 1, storage location YN01. This time I'm going to buy it for 2100. Purchase order 2100. Chasing it for 2100. Normally, price change will never happen, but here, I'm going to purchase it for 2,100. 2,100. I'm going to purchase it for 2,100. Let me save this. Let's do GR. Go to slash and MIG. 5,100. 4, 5, double zero, double zero, 5, 1, double 6. Let's go to those are still. 5, 1. Double six is my purchase order. Let's end up. Now, let's click onto this item OK and post. Post this. Now, let me go to display document and check. Let's end up. Price variance will get affected. Document info, FI document, controlling document gets created in standard, standard price. Double account accounting. See here, thousand hundred rupees variance gets stored in this. Two thousand hundred gets stored in this here. But the standard price is thousand only. See here, standard price thousand only. Now, when you go to material ledger, let's go to material ledger. Thousand only. It will never get affected. But whereas in Moving average price, it gets keep on affected. It gets keep on updated. Now, let's go to MM0. Go to slash and MM03 and let's check. For 220. This is standard price. It never gets updated. It will be the same one. Price will be the same one. Accounting. Let's go. Come here. See, it's same one. Standard price is same one. And the inventory value will be getting up. Updated every goods goods moment. This is the difference between moving average price and standard. Thank you.